Hello, French Frap Daters. My name is the Russian Badger, and that's an absolutely awful introduction. It's repugnant, and it's insulting. Although I'm not going to apologize, I'm just going to continue on operating under the assumption that you're not offended, which you most likely are, but let's carry on anyways. First off, I know that you guys most likely do not want to see another game on White Pass, but I'm going to bring this to you anyways just simply because it's so significant and it's so... It, it served as a gigantic catharsis for me personally. Number one, and really this was the real motivation behind the catharsis, or really what made it a catharsis, is that these gentlemen, each and every one on the opposing team, was the largest catfish. It was beyond annoying. It was engaging in every single tactic that I would consider dirty and and unfair and I'm not going to say unethical, that's that's breaking the line a little bit, but anything you can think of, only using the M60s and the AN94s, look at this gentleman here, he's rocketing the C4, or excuse me, rocketing the MCOM when he's two feet away, he could simply arm it. I really don't understand the justification behind that, not to mention there's C4ing of UAV, C4ing of the MCOM, and to make a long story short, they were just engaging in activities that I really do not enjoy in the slightest. And I decided, you know what? I'm going to take the recommendation of a lot of my viewers. I'm going to put on the 870 MCS as a medic. And I'm going to run around and I am going to split some wigs and bust some caps. And I know that's really vulgar language. It's not something that I particularly enjoy using. But it was really necessary in this particular situation because... These gentlemen just had to be put in their place, and I know this commentary is a little bit more passionate than I usually am, but I just got done playing this match, as a matter of fact. They just had to be put in their place. And what I mean specifically by that is, some teams adopt this behavior that is nothing short of despicable, and they really need to be pummeled into the ground. They need to be crushed into submission. And this is a prime example coming up right here. I'm not even going to commentate it. I'm just going to count in German. Let, why don't we do that? Eins und und zwei und drei. Hört wie er schreit. Verdammte Schiff. Vier. Scheiß die Wand an. Vier. Dann haben wir nur um die Ecke. Fünf. Fünf, sechs, sieben. Auf Wiedersehen. Es tut mir nicht leid und ich muss zerstören. That's what happens when you C4 a UAV in a previous match. You get absolutely blasted with an 870 MCS. That's what happens. And this, not only was this extremely enjoyable, but it really fit well and it really coincided with my strategy perfectly. And what I mean specifically by that is, all I was doing was as soon as I would spawn, I have the lightweight kit obviously, I'm rushing straight towards their front lines, towards their larger squads. Oftentimes they, they weren't even dispersed or spread out at all, which is an awful strategy to begin with, but I would just go into those really large groups, sneak up behind them, try to get as many kills as I could because I knew we would have to get lots of kills to hold them off. And I got these odd deaths, for example, case in point right here, what happened? I just shot you in the face, but because you just spawned, you have unlimited health. I don't know how that works, but that needs to be fixed. And that happened several times. And I knew I would have to hold the firm front line, so I, I got up in these buildings. This is what I mean specifically here. I don't know why they have to have this gigantic fluster cluck all of a sudden. I really don't understand how that's a necessity at all. But they decided to engage in this activity where... They would roam in these packs. It was like a caravan of eight gentlemen at once. And it really made my job a lot easier. And I'm not going to... Well, I, I believe I already did spoil the ending for you. And I do... I'm not going to apologize for that because I have a certain someone who gets quite mad when I apologize profusely. But and I do believe that I previously mentioned that we emerged victorious from this match. And really, I don't know if you really grasp how remarkable that is. To get them on the final objective... That's nothing short of miraculous in my personal opinion. Feel free to disagree with me as always, but it was quite significant. 
And of course my strategy, I don't even know what happened here either. No idea. That was at least 20 shots and I have, I don't have the slightest clue how he was able to dodge my bullets and somehow shoot me. I just don't know how that happened. And I was just screaming into my microphone. I don't scream. I'm more so, it's more of a manly yell with a deep voice, but I was just yelling at my teammates and uh, Ram JB is on my friends list and he was really the only other one that was contributing. And stop with the rockets. That's what you deserve when you shoot rockets at an objective. You deserve to get double killed with one shot. And it's just... It was quite amazing how our team was actually able to push up, and that's really what I was yelling, as I previously mentioned. I was just yelling and yelling and yelling. Get up. Push up. Stop sitting in the spawn. If you sit in the spawn, they're going to flood the entire area with rockets and C4 and noob tubes, and we are going to be toast. We are going to emerge defeated from this specific match if we don't push up. And so, eventually... My squad started doing it, and obviously I can't communicate with individuals outside of my squad, but my entire team started to slightly push up. A lot of them are still sitting in the spawn, but I, I truly think it was a direct result of my specific squad, the behavior of my specific squad, the four, the other three gentlemen and myself that really won this game for us, because we definitely got the most kills, and, and I truly want to refrain from just saying this is all about kills, this whole commentary in this gameplay, this is all about kills, but when you really bring it down to brass tacks and when it's all said and done, that is really what it comes down to. It's about eliminating the enemy team and wearing down their tickets, and obviously that singular objective is achieved by killing people. And I really had some foresight and I had a preconceived notion that if we lost this first set of objectives, which we obviously did, I was just going to grab my shotgun, I'm going to run straight into their spawn, I'm going to run straight into the large groups of enemies, and I'm going to eliminate as many of them as I can. I'm not even concerned about my ratio, my kill to death ratio. All I want is just to stack up the body count because just the thought of allowing them to win on White Pass was just, it was unacceptable in my personal opinion and I did not want to let it happen as personified as that gentleman's face coming off with a headshot. And I know I've, I'm a little bit more passionate than I regularly am, usually I'm more calm and collected, but I just got done playing with this match, as I previously mentioned, so it's still fresh in my mind, and it, it's, it's kind of an odd situation, kind of an odd tone of voice and an odd mood for me during a commentary, but it is just so satisfying to beat a team that you... I'm not going to say hate, because hate... I don't know if, and I don't even know what happened there either. Point blank shotgun, but hate is really a term that I would never use in a forum of online first person shooters. That's not appropriate in my personal opinion. It's too, it's too drastic, it's too harsh. And as you can see here, in that last couple minutes, I was screaming, I was absolutely yelling and screaming to get forward and get some kills because that other, that other B objective was extremely close to collapsing. I don't know how we pulled it off, and obviously that screen is wrong. We obviously won. You can hear the majestic music portraying that we won, and it's it's a valiant it's a valiant victory. So with that, I want to leave you guys with thank you for recommending a class that I can actually use. There's your final score. I will see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. See you soon.